Right. A question we get asked a lot about punching is the hand position during the punch. So basically, as I send the punch and make a fist, should I have my fist rotated all the way? Should I rotate only 45 degrees? Should I not rotate at all? And the truth is, in Krav Maga, as an open system, at the end of the day, what we're going to tell you is, rotate your fist as much as you want to, as much as you feel like is comfortable for you. For some people, that may mean rotation all the way over so the palm is down. This is not normally Krav Maga, but it's possible to do. Some people don't rotate at all, and the pinky stays down the whole time. Most people you'll find rotate to about 45 degrees. This is the most comfortable for them. And this is actually what Krav Maga recommends. If we're going to make a recommendation here, we'll go to about 45 degrees. Is this vital? No, you can punch like this. You can punch like this. But this is going to be most comfortable. The best way, actually, to decide what's comfortable for you is this. And you can do this experiment on your own. You stand with your hands passive, in a passive stance. Don't change your hand position, don't adjust your wrist position, but in a relaxed state, lift your arms up and hold them out straight in front of you. What you're going to find is if you make a fist from that position without rotating, that your fists go to a certain angle that's comfortable for your body. That's probably how much you're going to feel like you want to rotate in the punch. More than that may seem a little bit alien to your body, less than that may be undesirable. Again, it's going to be different for each person. Some people, when I do this test with them, their palms will be straight down. Some people, when they do it, their palms are almost facing each other. Most people, if you stand very relaxed, when they lift their arms up, they're about 45 degrees. That's how you're going to tell roughly what might be comfortable for you. Now, why we rotate at all, aside from the fact that it might be a comfortable position, we rotate at all because it tends to add a little bit of electricity, a little bit of power to the punch. There's actually some, some data that suggests that it doesn't really add much power at all, but it's still comfortable for the body, so even if there's no power involved in this movement, we're probably going to rotate just for comfort. Last thing to say is that if you rotate at all, if you're going to make this rotation of your fist, it only comes at the end of the punch. So when I send my hand at the beginning of the punch, if you watch slowly, whether it's right or left, my pinky stays down, the pinky side of my fist is down, and only on contact do I rotate. It's here. This motion. Again, if I were doing my right, it's this motion. Only at the end do I rotate. If I rotate early, I tend to lift my elbow, which telegraphs the punch and exposes the weak part of my fist to the target. And the other thing that happens is, if there is any power generated by this rotation, I've given it up already. If I rotate back here, the power is gone. I've used it up way too early in the punch. So I send the hand out, rotate at the end.